Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I had so much fun last week showcasing the meta versus dad build that I made another dad build. <laughs> and don't be shocked by all the orange. Uh, I'll explain it in a, in a second here. So, um, uh, so far, uh, all of the tunes that I've showed you outside of Budget Gandork were uh, Magicka based. And I wanted to show you one that was a heavy attack uh, build, but a bow-based heavy attack build. So, um, so if you're if you enjoy stamina uh, side of things more than Magicka, here's a build for you. Um, and so, uh, so with Budget Gandark, we had the the melee stamina. Uh, now we've got a range stamina build with this, and this one is called. Get ready for it. Dun, 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 dun. The orange arrow. <laughs> so we got the orange arrow. I made him very superhero-ish. We've got Bastion is all decked out as well. Um, and uh, <laughs> so, uh, so we're going around and fighting crime in uh, Tamriel and having a good time. I've been really enjoying this build. Like, not only did I find, you know, a wonderful fashion and bright orange... Uh, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. It was fun to, to get bashed on this new character and and go around with uh, with him and do that. So uh, um, you know, a, lo a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So let's explain the build for you. And actually, I'm gonna put away uh, Bastion here. Let's put away Bastion. Bye, Bastion. All right. Let's show you what I got. All right. Um, so yeah, a really fun build. Having a lot of a great time of it. Uh, again, I want to say thank you uh, to my friend Pisces, who helped me out with this build. Uh, he's uh, helped me out on a few of these where I've kind of got the general idea, and then I, I come up with a few things that I've uh, uh, set, some things that might work and everything. And then uh, he kind of takes it and, and goes comes back with, uh, with even better sets and better things. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I want to use that. I want to use that. That's a great idea and stuff. So uh, shout out to uh, Pisces for helping me out. Thank you so much, buddy. All right. So... We have a few different things on here. We're going to be looking at Infallible Aether as one of our main sets. Infallible Aether is a really good set, uh, especially now because um, it gives spell damage and weapon damage, uh, where it only gave uh, spell damage prior to the changes in Update 32. So now we have these changes in here. So uh, it gives us crit damage, um, I changed out the um, uh, to a stamina enchant, still in divines, uh, the whole set of it. Um, uh, and uh, the big thing is that your heavy attacks deal an additional damage, um, and uh, um, and uh, uh, they're also afflicted with a uh, minor vulnerability for ten seconds, and it increases uh, their damage taken by five percent. So it's a really great set now for stamina as well as magicka uh, in there. Uh, and right off the bat, you might be saying, um, or maybe you didn't think of it, because I didn't think of it at first, um, is that, oh my gosh, it's a light set for stamina. We probably want medium. Well, um, yeah, you definitely do want medium. So what we've done is that we've gone light, and we've got light with the head and the shoulders, and then to put the rest of it on uh, jewelry. So we put the rest of it on jewelry, and then... Um, um, uh, so then we don't have to worry about it. When you put stuff on jewelry like that, you don't have to worry whether it's heavy, light, or medium uh, in there because it doesn't matter. So the second, oh yeah, and don't uh, don't worry about the gold in there and stuff. Uh, I just happen to have these because I I did a lot on my you know spell damage characters back in the day, so I I had extras um, uh, because usually the dad bills were were all purple. So uh, so don't fret about that. It does not have to be gold. The second set is really cool, too. This is Griffin's... Ja oh, I, I got to say, I get so excited about this. Um, Infallible Aether comes from normal uh, Ethereum Archive, which I believe for some of the other dad build stuff, um, you wanted to go in there uh, as well. Well, Ethereum Archive, actually any of the Craglorn Trials on normal will drop everything for the set. Uh, so it's a very common drop. So if you go in there a few times... Uh, you'll get enough uh, uh, stuff to be able to put uh, this together. So, um, so yeah, not too bad to get because remember that's a big part of the dad build. 
Uh, it's got to be uh, easy to obtain or fairly easy to obtain um, and fun and, uh, and do something cool, which uh, this one definitely does. The other set that I have is uh, Griffin's Jack. Now, Griffin's Jack gives you some, some crit damage and some spell damage. But here's the big thing. After dealing direct damage, you gain minor force and minor expedition for 10 seconds. What that means is that your crit damage done goes up by 10%. So when you crit, boom, you crit even more. And uh, you get your movement speed. So moving around, getting out of trouble when that crits is really, really nice. Um, so minor expedition is really, really cool. Um, and this is an overland set from Somerset. So very easy to get through the traders or just out and about, you know, overland killing stuff. You'll come up with a set. So uh, really uh, an easy one to get. So easy one for the Griffin, all right, which is in medium. And so we have it as our, our five pieces here. Uh, the two pieces for light for the head and the shoulders. And they're for uh, IA and then IA jewelry. Right. And then the last thing is actually something that um, you've been going through already if you were trying to get my dad builds up and running. Is uh, if you're going into Dragon Star Arena on normal, you're going to get the Master's Bow. Again, you don't have to get the perfected version of this. All right, You can get the regular one. It's not going to be that much change of a, a, a little bit less spell damage, but it's not that bad. Um, and the great thing about this one is that it increases your weapon and spell damage by 330 against targets afflict, uh, affected by your uh, poison arrow. And so a uh, poison arrow is one of the skills that we're going to be using, which is really cool. And so basically you start off with that. It doesn't even matter, especially if you're in a group of enemies, it doesn't matter which one you hit. Boom, your, uh, your spell damage is going to, to go up. So uh, um, um, yeah, so it's, it's going to do a, a lot of damage in there. Um, boom. So um and with that we're infused and it's poison damage uh that we want for the weapon enchant uh for all of the uh, pieces it's going to be divines for the trait for the jewelry it's going to be bloodthirsty with a weapon damage all right uh food that i'm using for this i'm using the braised rabbit spring vegetables uh increase health and stamina uh really good um, I'm using stamina pots in there. You can also use weapon pots as well. Um, that'll give you a little bit more of a boost. Um, but uh, stamina pots are just fine. Uh, just in case you need them. Actually, with a heavy attack build, we get back resources so easily. Um, usually, I'm not using these too much. So, uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Put everything into stamina. Uh, actually, do I have food on right now? Oh, it's about to run out. Let's put some food on there just to make sure I don't run out of it. Mmm, good food. Um, let's see. So we're looking at for stats. We're looking at our health is at 24. We're almost at 30k for stamina. We've got recovery. Again, you're going to be doing heavy attacks. Your recovery is going to be fine. Uh, your weapon damage is at 35, 31, which is really good. Your weapon critical. Um, uh, 40%, uh, percent, not too bad. Um, and so with that, I've got on the Mundestone of the Thief on there. Uh, don't worry about that. I think when I tried this character a long time ago, I, I was doing some werewolf stuff. So that's just there. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. All right. So we've got all that in there. Let's look at the skills. All right. It's a one bar build. All right. One bar build, just like my other stuff. In there, and the skills that we're using is we're using poison injection. All right, poison injection uh, comes out of the um, the weapon tree. If you got a bow, we got poison injection. That's the one that we want for our bow, uh, so that we get more damage. Uh, caltrops, caltrops comes out of the um, salt tree, out of uh, uh, doing PvP um, and battlegrounds. You also have arrow barrage which again is a weapon from your bow there using the arrow barrage um, you've got a heal from pvp as well it's our vigor we have now the actually let me skip that one for a second uh then we have rapid fire which actually i've got to upgrade it's going to um go to ballista when i get it upgraded this guy hasn't upgraded it yet so uh very close to doing it 
Um, and we get that. We'll put Ballista in there. Great ulti to have. Um, and that's it, except for this one. So if you notice, it's um, Assault Tree for PvP or Weapon stuff. Um, so other than this fifth slodge, all right, your class really doesn't matter. Your class really doesn't matter. So you could actually pick any class and put this on there. So if you've got a class that you're just not using and you don't want to delete it, but you want to be able to play with it and do something with it, yeah, you could make this build out of it. Very easy. Actually, that's the process that I went through in here. This is a Nightblade, and I've got a couple of Nightblades already. Um, and I'm like, well, I can do this. It's like, well, what can we run on that? Well, one of the great things for the Nightblades is uh, this Relentless fo uh, Focus, which... Um, as it builds up for me doing uh, heavy attacks, or light attacks, but we're going to be doing heavy attacks, um, I'm going to start doing more damage because I get an increase of spell damage um, with each one. It stacks up to like five times. And then when uh, it gets full at the five, you actually have the option to release it for uh, some big damage. What does it say down there? It says uh, 14,305 right now of disease damage. So... Um, so yeah, so you can either hold on to it and just have all your general damage do a, a lot more, or if it's like, I, I kind of use it as an execute when we're getting down to the bottom, boom, it hits. And it lasts longer than the Magicka version of it, which is really cool. So this duration is 60 seconds. So I pop that on at the beginning of fight and, you know, it, it lasts me for the whole fight. So really I'm just concentrating on these four and the ulti when it comes up. So, uh, Yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going on with those. Uh, let's see. Let's get to uh, CP. CP is um, for the craft and warfare are the same uh, that we've had in other videos. You know what? I'll look at it. I'll show it just off real quick. We're using, you know, Treasure Hunter, Master Gatherer, Plentiful Harvest, and Rationer, um, and then any of the other passes um, for... Uh, fitness, I'm using Balanced Vitality, Fortified, Spirit Mastery, and Bloody Renewal. You want the Bloody Renewal on this one because it gives you the stamina back whenever you kill an enemy. So that's always good. So uh, 1,500 stamina. And then for our blue, uh, we're going pretty much everything stamina. Uh, we're taking all the passes in there, and we're using Fighting Finesse. So we're doing a little bit more with our crit damage. Uh, Thermaturge for our damage over time. Uh, Master of Arms, increasing our damage to direct damage. And Weapon Expert, increases your damage uh, with light and heavy attacks. So our heavy attacks will do uh, more damage in there. But everything else as far as all the other passives. And then, of course, um, the passives of Battle Mastery for martial status and uh, Mighty for giving us more uh, um, weapon damage and uh, poison and disease damage, which we need. So all of those, pretty standard stuff now. If you've watched any of my other videos, um, that's what's going on. Uh, let me see. That was pretty quick. Uh, am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? Dun, 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 dun. I explained about the sets. We've got the things. We've got the stuff. We talked about the food. Uh, I think we're pretty darn good. I'm back here in uh, Deshaun again. Um, in the um, Forgotten Crypts, because uh, that was a great way for us to kind of, uh, you know, show off some of the damage of this dad build. Um, like I said, the, the, the concept of the dad build I want to get across to everybody is that 90 to 95%, I'd say 95%, 95% of the things that we do in ESO do not require any type of meta uh, build, or gear, or anything like that, all right? Um, if you can take a character and solo within a public dungeon, you're going to be able to do normal trials just fine. Um, and maybe some vets, if you've got you know a nice group of people, you got a nice guild um, in there that want to take you along. Um, so this is definitely something that is a lot of fun um, and can get that content done. Um, without being an overkill. You do not have to have, you know, 70k, 80k DPS to do a public dungeon, to do overland, to do event, 
you know, uh, things that are going on. So uh, that's the big thing I want to get across with these. And, and thank you very much for your comments back that these have helped you out a lot. So, uh, so yeah, so here's another great build. Take it, make it, have fun with it. I've been having a blast with it because it's so different. I, I, like I said, I don't get to play much on the stamina side too much. And I actually took it into, I was really, I was really having a lot of fun. I took it into PvP uh, last couple of days and I got up to Tier 1 um, uh, on it. Uh, and because uh, if you get up to tier one at the end of the campaign, you get 50 uh, uh, free transmute crystals, which I always need transmute crystals for all these builds. So, uh, so yeah, and I had a lot of fun in PvP too. I took over some resources by myself. It was great. Yeah, I had a good time. So, uh, so here we go. So let's go through. So I have another quest on here. What? All right. Who's so that? we're going on in. And so there they are. So I'm going to prep my number five. Get that all going. And boom, I'm going to hit somebody with that. Boom. Boom. And now I'm just going to do some heavy attacks as I move. And as people die, I get that nice quickness. Boom. I'm just holding down my left mu left mouse button. Wow. Look how quick. Just like our others. Look how quick that happened. And here's a really cool thing. And I didn't realize this until after I made the build. Most of our armor is medium. All right. Oh, that was the thing I did forget. Uh, make sure to take all the passes to anything that um, um, that it coincides with. So for Relentless Force, you're going to just take all the passes. For Weapon, for the Bow, you're going to take all the passes. For Armor, take all the Light Passes. I don't even have all the Light ones yet. But make sure to take all the Medium ones. All right, The Medium ones are going to help you out too. Um, Let's see, Fighter's Guild, that's just for talking and stuff. Undaunted, we're not doing anything. Actually, when I get the Undaunted up, um, because we have two, uh, a light and a medium, we're going to be able to add to our Undaunted Metal and, and do a little bit more that way as well. Um, make sure to take the Fast Riding, 30%, and make sure to put all your racial stuff in there. Yeah, there we go, that's what I forgot. Um, yeah, we're medium, so we actually can take a hit or two. I mean, most of the stuff I do deal with is light, and so uh, usually I'm kind of squishy in here. So a lot of those times, I can kind of just stand in the fray. All right, so I'll fire that off. Boom. I'll let this go. I might put my heel on. Boom, and I'm kind of moving around, taking things out. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Real easy peasy. Love it. Let's keep going. This is fun. Uh, da, da. Look at that! I'm only halfway through my um, my little um, buff thing there, so. Uh, oh. oh, somebody's here to help. So let me get this guy. Get over here. Yeah, I'll hit my. Uh... Ooh, look at that! Twenty nine k, twenty nine k with the uh, um. Relentless focus. Oh, that felt good. That was cool. Yeah. Boom. There we go. All right, let's buff it up again. Shoot. Right, put on my health sometimes and do that. Here, I'll pull a few more. A dodge. Look at that. All dead. All dead. We fight in the rain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's keep going. Let's see if the uh, boss is up. Is the boss up? Uh, he's up, right up. I'm just holding down my left mouse button. Moving around. Getting those heavy attacks off. Ooh, rapid fire can be morph. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's morph it. Let's morph the rapid fire. Dun, 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 boom. Boom. All right. Uh, deal damage with... Jigsaw and Poison dealing additional damage over time. So I'm going to turn it to channel the attack for you, but for less damage. Uh... Nah, I want Ballista. I like putting out the Ballista. Because this, you actually shoot it yourself. Alright? This one, 
you put it out there so you can continue to fire. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Hopefully, he'll spawn there so we can do things. I'm still looking. Oh, we got one more. Pew. Let's see, is that other guy up over here? Do, 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 do. No. Alright, go back up. Go back. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, this guy's still here. Ooh, he just did an epic dodge roll. Nice, sir. Sorry, you gotta die. Alright, are you coming up yet? Get up here. I gotta show the people how I can kill you. There he is. Okay, here you are. Ready? Everything's up. Everything's good. Poison. Ballista. Yeah, Ballista. Just taking him out. Love it. Ooh, 35. Ooh, 35k. I'm a forgotten Crypt Conqueror. Yeah, I am. You know why? Because I'm the Orange Arrow. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.